Rafters are going in and we're gonna have a roof soon. Because I literally am feeling so much pressure in my chest right now. It's getting hard to breathe, so I'm gonna get down. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Nico's Property Show. I'm super duper excited. The framers are banging around. They got the ceiling joist in, and guess what that means? That means the rafters are going in, and we're gonna have a roof soon. I'm doing a 612 pitch roof. So typically, you know, you'll see houses like this. If you don't know the difference, what this is from this is, um, my house is gonna be more like this. So anybody who's working on the roof up there doing the shingles or anything like that, or the framers themselves are going to love working on my roof because it's like this. Like you don't have to like feel like you're about to fall off the edge of my roof, which is, you know, 15, 20 feet up in the air. So regardless, they're about to knock all these rafters out. I'm gonna show you all exactly what's going on. It is so awesome up there. Let's get to work, let's get some progress, and let's really see what is happening, and let's see how this entire roof system is really gonna come to life. So let's get straight to work. All right, exactly what it seems like right now is exactly what it is. I'm standing on my ceiling joist um, I'm by the rafters that I guess are right over my office and they are moving very well on the progress of getting all the rafters up, getting all the roof on, um, and then they're gonna wrap that with plywood with OSB and this is gonna be so great. Then we'll get shingles on and this house will be covered up and then the windows come, which windows are always delayed now. Um, they're super back ordered. Luckily I ordered mine ahead of time. Hopefully they're still on time. Hopefully they're not like, oh, the supply chain, this, that, and the other, because that would really suck. You wanna get the windows on, you wanna get the house closed up. Um, put Tyvek around it and then just you're you're covered up you're good to go but let me give you a little bit of views they got the far side of the house right there living room kitchen area and the bedroom one and two we got garage area right there and then here I am over my master bedroom, master uh, bathroom area right here. So a lot of progress happening. I'm excited with what's going on. Um, I can't wait. They're done with day one here um, with putting the roof on. So once they get out here for day two, this is all just gonna go brrrr. You're just gonna see rafters literally just get thrown on. And like I told y'all earlier when I was starting the video, we're gonna do a 12 inch overhang. Um, so it's gonna be just a beautiful little area. This roof is just gonna make this house all come together. So I'm excited, let's keep progressing. Um, and I'm so glad that y'all are still watching so let's get on with it well top of the morning to you folks it is day two I'm super excited about this process because now that house really becomes a home this is the point of the process where I'm like dude I got to go order some shingles because now my house is gonna be covered up and that window package that I ordered like nine or eight weeks ago not even sure at this point it was a really long time ago um, something I had to order way ahead of time because the lead times are just crazy as I told you before is going to get finalized here shortly so I'm gonna get more of this progress up on the rooftop so that y'all can see how this works how this comes together and how awesome the process is it is super dangerous up there i am terrified of heights so i'm like i'm trembling when i'm up there filming so do be patient with me if the content's not super good but let me get up there let me get some more content and i hope you all are enjoying this progress
I'm afraid of heights, but I'm going. I want to show you the progress. I told the guys, go grab some pizza. I brought them some Little Caesars pizza. They were like, we want pineapple pizza. And I was like, Little Caesar has pineapple pizza? I didn't even know that. But check out what they've done here. Look at this amazing progress. They got all the rafters going through this side. They got most of them done through that entire corner right there. And then he's got that whole area right there done as well. But they're down there eating lunch. I'm up here trying to show you all some progress without falling because if I fall, it's about a 10 foot drop. These are 10 foot ceilings and if I fall that way, it's even further. So we do not want to fall. Uh, beautiful day, beautiful progress. Um, they came out and I was like, yo, they weren't even going to take a lunch. They were just going to work through it. I was like, bro, let me go get you some pizza or something at least. It's like, okay, okay, okay. So they're finally taking a little break, eating a little food, um, getting some energy and they're going to get right back to it. Knock this thing out. We're just going to keep progressing here and just, you know, building this amazing home. So let's keep watching. This guy's a genius right here. He created his own template. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the new crib. So we're gonna do an MTV Cribs tour now because I have a roof, I got all my plywood, my OSB sheathing all the way around. But what I wanna do is, I wanna give you all some dope views of this because this part of the process has literally blown my mind. Just watching them put all these rafters up and watching this entire thing literally just go by board by board like brrrr has been absolutely phenomenal. I wanna give you all some drone footage so you can see how it's been, the process of how that's gone, and everything in between. So why don't we jump up to the sky real quick, see that, and then I'm gonna meet you all on the roof here in a little bit. So let's go up. So after seeing all those dope views, I know you definitely want to come up to the roof with me. So I'm going to climb this ladder. And of course, um, safety is always number three on the list on job sites. Okay, so we're going to go speed, quality. Then I'm just kidding. Safety is number one. Okay, so make sure you're being safe. Um, I'm being safe here. I'm actually terrified of heights, as I've told you probably three times. And uh, let's see if I can squeeze through these uh, rafters right here without toppling down. Let's see what I can do here. Uh, we're getting there. Hold on a second. Well, we've made it to the roof. Why don't you, Mr. Cameraman, take a few steps towards me and head on up this ladder because we're going to give them a nice MTV Cribs tour up here as well so you can see what my roof system is like. So come on. Alrighty, y'all. So I'm actually terrified of heights, um, but that's okay. I just, I, I walk through here. I see the framers doing it, so obviously um, it is structurally sound and they do it at speed like times 100. I'm doing it at speed like maybe one, <laughs> if that, maybe half. So I don't know if you can see right here, but there's my attic opening right there. So that's gonna be where my um, attic door actually goes. So they leave that space out right there. But as you can see, all these rafters have been nailed in. Um, just trying to be safe here, cause I don't wanna fall. 
but regardless you can see this so this is a 612 pitch um it's not too steep so the people that are going to be doing the shingles love it the, the guys that are doing the framing obviously love it because when they put the osb plywood sheathing over the top of it it's going to be very easy they're not going to have to like you know be walking on an angle like this um so the pitch not being so steep is really a good thing for anybody that's doing any work on top of my roof um and it, it doesn't really make any difference for your house itself but it just depends on what kind of look you're going for so my farm style house with a 612 pitch it's going to look pretty darn good so um we're going to do shingles and everything coming up shortly i got to order all that make sure we're good and i'll actually tell you all what color i'm doing everything probably in one of the next videos because we're still a little bit far away from that so this i'm standing over my garage okay so i've got that attic door right here and then i'm gonna move towards my room where i actually take my shoes off so i don't even know what you really call a room like that but that's where my washer and dryer are going to be as well so if you look down where you see that ladder and then going into my office will be you know going over one room right there and then honestly what i'm going to do is sneak by right here and this is going to be my master closet right here um, and that just kind of leads into my master bathroom and everything else like that but i'm gonna skip along head this way if the framers can do it i guess i can do it um whew, this anxiety starts to pump um but anyways so we went over here and i actually helped them do this side right here because the boards were pretty long one guy was cutting two guys were actually installing one on this side and one on that side this right here because there's a different level and i'll tell you the reason so this is all nine foot ceilings over here right but this needed to be a 10 foot ceiling throughout here so because of this 10 foot ceiling you see there's a drop off in the different types of boards so you know you're, you're gaining a foot over here versus over here you're only at nine feet i really love that that's going to be a 10 foot ceiling in there that whole entire like kitchen area and living room area is going to be super super dope why don't i get down from this roof uh because i literally am feeling so much pressure in my chest right now it's getting hard to breathe so i'm going to get down and i uh, hope you all enjoyed this entire roof system because all these rafters are getting put in they're almost done literally there's like i guess 15 maybe 10 to 15 left and then they're going to absolutely be able to put the osb plywood sheathing on top and from there we're going to get shingles so let me head on down give you something in the garage and from there we're just going to continue all right y'all <sighs> literally like when i get up in high spaces my heart starts pumping mr cameron do watch your feet because i don't want you to trip up coming in my garage um but as you saw in the last video all this was done this is something um that i got to fill up and i still had these boards here but i was still using the bobcat real like just straight up didn't care i was like let me just not hit this i'm gonna sneak under um so why don't we come all the way inside here and uh, just talk a little bit because i'm really excited about what has been happening i mean building this house has just been an experience that i honestly just couldn't imagine a couple months ago i did not think i was going to be doing this and then out of nowhere i found this land my neighbor's willing to sell it and then i was like look can i just get this from you yes 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 and then boom look what i'm standing in my literal home um, the place where I'm going to be laying my head down at night, sleeping, um, and just enjoying my time. And then every single one of you are enjoying this, you know, progress. Well, at least I hope you are if you're watching. So I do appreciate that um, from the bottom of my heart. But regardless, I think that's enough. Doing all these ceilings and doing this roof, I think that um, that's just one of those processes. Like when people have bought a house, like you don't know what went under your shingles. You're just like, yeah, let me buy that house and pay this price. But guess what? That's what I'm here to provide. So I really appreciate you, um, you know, watching through every process and making sure that you're learning something along the way because i don't want to just entertain you i want to actually give you some quality content and some knowledge but regardless if you did enjoy this video make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you follow me on all social platforms especially tiktok because that's where i'm able to actually you know edit really quickly and then post it right away if you haven't yet check out nico's property show.com grab me some merch a hat a crew neck a hoodie or a t-shirt cool weather's coming up and make sure you use code nico in all caps for 10 percent off your next order so regardless i appreciate you i love you hope you have a blessed day Stay less stressed and be blessed. Peace out.